I think people are <laughs> making a mountain out of a molehill. We will not have a party when President Buhari leaves government. I think people are <laughs> making a mountain out of a molehill. The progressive governors were instrumental to Adam Oshomole becoming the chairman of the party. He was their colleague. They worked together. Adams and I were governors at the same time. Before I went on sabbatical, and he continued with the second term in office. He's also my personal friend. I'm not the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, but I'm an active member of the Progressive Governors Forum. And I don't think there's a single view about the leadership of the party in the Progressive Governors Forum. I think there's a clear view that the party can do a lot more than it has done. And that if we're not careful, the single unifying force tying our party together, President Muhammad Buhari, if we're not careful, if we do not institutionalize processes and procedures in the party and make the party more inclusive than it is, we will not have a party when President Buhari leaves government. So is the national chairman opposed to this position? I have not suggested uh, any stretch of imagination or in any way that is opposed to it. I am saying that governors are very interested in the party becoming organic, not just as an election vehicle. Because it is when the party is organic that it can outlive the present um, support we are enjoying because we have a president who has his own personal popularity and whose personal popularity has helped our party up to this point. And I would imagine that one of the strong legacies that our president and party leader would want to leave behind is that this party continues to grow in leaps and bounds even when he's no longer in office. So is this view in the open wrong that you in particular and Governor Erufai, because of the politics of 2023, are actually determined to unseat Shomali? What is the politics of 2023? I, I think newspapers by their very nature indulge in a lot of speculation our government is not six months in office. People are talking about 2023. Who knows tomorrow? Who knows whether El Rufai or Fire Me or anyone for that matter will even still be here in 2023? I have a job. I have just started a second term. I'm focused on what I'm doing in Ekiti. And I don't see how anyone can even link what is happening in the party to some so-called politics of 2023. I have just laid it out for you. Even Adam Zoshomalo, who is chairman of the party, would agree that we need a stronger, more accountable, more inclusive political party. The issue the governors have raised have outlined it. The governors want the party structures to function effectively and more regularly. That is the caucus, the NEC, the National Working Committee, the various state uh, chapters. That is what a political party is. And Adams would also say that some of us have been at the forefront of pushing for even policy conventions on an annual basis that let us even review as they do in other places how are we doing what policies are we putting out how are we, i mean i ran the policy and research directorate of the party before i became minister 
So you can understand if I have an interest in what happens to our manifesto and how we are implementing what is in our manifesto. And Adams is a veteran, passionate, ideological politician. I've worked with him closely, so I don't see a divergence in these views. But governors also want to be respected as leaders of the party. They don't want their views to be given a short shrift. And Adam is not taking the governor's view. I have not said that. No, I'm asking. I, but, but, doing that? but I've just told you that governors want the party's views to be respected. But at some point, you literally forced him to call a meeting of the strategic organ of the party. So, more or less, you are not working in harmony with him. No, 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 no. I don't. Uh, you, 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 you see, <laughs> Adams is our colleague. Don't get that wrong. At least for those of us. National chairman of the party. Uh, national chairman. And I've just said to you that when the party decided on this succession, Governors wholeheartedly they supported it. I wasn't even governor then, don't, don't forget. But governors, I'm aware, haven't been a member of the Progressive Governors Forum. By the way, I, you, you, you may you'll be aware of this. I, I, I was the first coordinator of the Progressive Governors Forum. I started with my colleagues then uh, at the Progressive Governors Forum. So, for us, we cannot be averse to one of us leading the party, and we enthusiastically supported it. But is he the right person now to lead, to continue to lead the party to the next level? Well, that's a matter for the party organs to decide. So you personally, because you know him, you have known him for quite a long, you broke with him, do you believe in his capacity to continue to lead the Capacity, party? absolutely. So Adams, 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 Adams has capacity. Adams has very strong credentials. Continue but as with every human being, Adams also has very strong weaknesses. We all do. Can he, is he, do you think he has the ability to continue to lead APC? I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't want us to reduce this to personal opinion. Because it really doesn't matter whether what I think is immaterial as an individual. What is important is, is this, is this the state we want our party to be? If it is not the state we want our party to be, what can we do to improve the lot of our party? What can we do to energize our base? That is quite frankly at the moment unhappy with a lot of things and what can we do to ensure that this party outlives its founders and its current leaders that for me i go around africa as an activist the old parties independence parties in ghana are still the parties in ghana now South Africa, Zimbabwe. I can continue to name places. But this notion, this business of us changing party coloration with every change of government is also partly contributing to the despondency that my brother talked about. Because political parties are central to democratic deepening and consolidation and if we don't get internal democratic issues right what moral authority are we going to have to sell ourselves to the nigerian public to your excellency are you suggesting you know from what you've said are you suggesting you are opposed to the ongoing discourse about 2023 who becomes what in 2023 I have just told you I am focused, I've only used a year in office. 
my primary responsibility is to the people who elected me to office. I have a secondary responsibility as the chairman of the Nigerian governors. And in that position, my duty is to ensure that I protect, promote, and defend governors. And present the issues to the President of the Federal Republic when the need arises. That is my job now. So all these stories that we hear about you know, the possibility of you being thrown up as a candidate you know, for the presidential election in 2023 is just hogwash? Uh, frankly, it is hogwash. I'm, I'm glad you, you, you described it that way. 2023 is too far away in my own understanding. The former Governor Tinubu is a founding father of this party, one of the key founding fathers of the APC, and his views are extremely important in the direction that the party would eventually take. I know him to be a Democrat, so I, there's nothing that I've said that will not be of concern to him. The unity of the party, the need for the party to become more organic, the importance of inclusiveness in the party and ensuring that the organs of the party function effectively. I don't see Ashura Dubala Ahmed Tinubu opposed to any of these because it's, 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 I, I have worked with him way before APC. I worked with him in Nadeko. I worked with him in my days as a young activist. Is a mentor of mine and my leader. So there's no conflict. But the fact that we necessarily agree on what the issues are and what the uh, challenges the party is facing are do not necessarily mean that all of the solutions can be preferred by just one individual. And that's why I said, don't let's reduce this to my personal views. It's important to take the aggregate of the collective views of party people, leaders and members alike. Because this is not a party of leaders. This is the party of change. There are things we promised Nigerians when we came into office. The reason why I ask this is because the last time you went uh, to meet the president about the party issues, the governors were divided, and we understand that some people who supported Adam Zuchimili were kind of like people who have more close relationship with Ahmed Bola Chinibu, while others kind of like so this. That is why I ask this question. Closer relationship? <laughs> who has a closer relationship to Ashwagi Bola Chinibu than I? You know, relationships develops and kind of like and fades as time you, goes on. So you guys are, you guys are just you're just mischief makers. Matter of factly, what is your current relationship with Ashwagi? Very good. Yeah, is my elder? Is my leader? At the time we knew that there was some, you know, some kind of frostiness. There's never been any frustrations in my relationship with <laughs> Ashwaju. 2014 incidents. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where were 2014 incidents? When it was, I mean, it widely reported that he didn't really give you his support. That's why you didn't get your second time then. Really? That's, that's I was the candidate of his party. And I'm sure he supported me in the election. So, if anybody told you that he didn't give me support, well, I'm hearing that for the first time. <laughs> Thank you.